Apostle Wolfolk and to Elder Chavis of Wooten and to all of the mothers of Zion. Amen. We just thank God for you this morning. Amen. For being here. Amen. Praise our God in the house of God that we might just glorify God together. For the Bible says that forsaken not to assemble yourselves together as the manner of some is. But I don't know about you, but I, I've come to have a high time in the Lord. I've come, amen, praise our God, to feel God's power in the midst of us all. How many are waiting for hear the word of God? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Those of you with your Bibles, I ask that you turn with us, amen, to Psalm 37. Psalm 37. Thank you, Jesus. And when you turn to it, can you stand either with your Bibles or your electronic devices, amen, and amen, praise God, in deference, amen, to the word of God. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 37, in the name of the Lord, and we're so glad to see all of you this morning, amen, praise our God, daughters and sons of Zion, in Jesus' name. There you'll find these words, amen, as they are recorded in Psalm 37. Fret not thyself because of evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good, so shalt thou dwell in the land and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light, and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord. And wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. For evildoers shall be cut off. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. And while you're standing, we're going to go before the Lord of prayer. We're going to ask Elder Wooten that he might come. I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee. Oh, bless Let it 
every heart pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Heavenly Father, in the precious name of Jesus. Lord God, as we enter into that secret place right now, Lord God. Lord God, with our hearts, Lord God, pointed towards heaven. Hey, God, in your divine will. Right now, Lord God, I'm asking you to touch each and every household, Lord God, being represented today. Hey, God, I'm asking you right now, Lord God, to get in the midst of that situation. I'm asking you to get in the midst of that sickness, that infirmary condition. I'm asking you to come in, Lord God. I'm invoking your presence in that, uh, Lord God, that, that situation, Lord God, that we can't talk about, Lord God. I'm asking you, oh God, oh God, I'm bringing my impossibilities, our impossibilities to you today, right now, Lord God. For I know that I know, Lord God, that you are able to do it, Lord God. Hey, God, to heal to deliver, to set free. Right now, we're asking you right now that even as we come into this election year, Lord God, asking you right now to touch, Lord God, to move, to make your presence known. Man has failed us, Lord God, on every side, Lord God, but we know that through you, Lord God, we shall be victorious, Lord. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to touch today, move have your way. This is your house, Lord God. Remember our pastor today, Lord God. As he comes to, oh God, deliver the word, Lord God. Touch him, Lord God. Help him, Lord God. Use him as your mouthpiece, oh God, for that portion of time. Remember all your saints from the pulpit to the exit right now, Lord God. We need a word from the Lord right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Touch the hearts of men. Save, deliver, and set free. Let somebody say to themselves, what must I do to be saved today? Whether it be here or online, Lord God. Have your way, Lord God. For we know that the time is late. And it won't be long before you, oh God, crack the sky. Lord God, we need you right now. We need a move of you right now, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Move, Lord God. Have thine own way, Lord God, today. Lord God, don't delay. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Lord God, somebody's in need of you right now, Lord God. Somebody is, their back is against the wall, Lord God. Somebody that came and encouraged them to say that it's over. The enemy has said that it's over, but we trust in you, Lord God. Some in chariots, some in fire, but we will remain, we will remember the name of the Lord at those inopportunistic times, Lord God. Lord, we praise you right now. And we pray, oh God, that you will have thine own way. Lord God, I'm asking you to touch, touch, Lord God. Touch, touch, touch. Lord God, in that night season, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, make the stony hearts of men flesh again, pliable, Lord God. Lord God, that they will hear and see you before it's too late. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give thy name the praise, the honor, the praise, the honor. Come on. The praise, the honor, the praise, the honor. The praise. Come on, give him the first fruits of your lips. The honor and the glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. And everybody shout. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Praise our God. Certainly, I was remiss, amen, to acknowledge those who are viewing this telecast via Facebook Live, amen, the service emanating from the Refuge Temple Church here in the wonderful city of Oxford, North Carolina, 311 West Spring Street, where the pastor is the illustrious Woolly David, Elder Woolly David Morton. And certainly we thank God for you, those of you who are viewing, amen, this telecast, amen, via home in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And to those on our sick list, uh, Brother Don Keith, and also um, Mother Gertrude Williamson, and uh, Brother Black, oh God, and Rita Haynes, and Mother Hunt, and Elder Hunt, and Mother Booker, and to all of the wonderful people of God, we're praying, amen, for you. We're praying, 
Amen. In the name of the Lord, I certainly want to thank Amen Elder Wooten for taking us, Amen, to the throne of grace in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. At this time, praise our God, we're going to call on our praise leaders that they might come this morning. The praise leaders, praise our God, the praise leaders, Amen. Praise well. I don't want to call out anybody's name, but you know who you are. Right, Sister Shanae? Right, Sister Sheila Williams? Thank you, Sister Shanae and some folk else. Praise our God. The praise leaders. And, oh, Sister Gloria Rogers. Amen. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. You can't make me doubt him. You can't make me doubt him. You can't make me doubt him in my heart. Whoa, you can't make me doubt him. I know too much about him. You can't make me doubt him in my heart. Oh, you can't make me doubt him. You can't make me doubt him. You can't make me doubt him in my heart. Whoa, you can't make me doubt him. I know too much about him. You can't make me doubt him in my heart. Oh, you can't make me doubt him. You can't make me doubt him. You can't make me doubt him in my heart. Whoa, you can't make me doubt him. I know too much about him. You can't make me doubt him in my heart. Oh, I've got the love of Jesus. Got the love of Jesus. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Oh, I've got the love of Jesus. I've got the love of Jesus. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Oh, you can't make me doubt him. You can't make me doubt him. You can't make me doubt him in my heart. Well, you can't make me doubt him. I know too much about him. You can't make me doubt him in my heart. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. A hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. A hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In my heart. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah in my heart. Oh, I've got the love of Jesus. I've got the love of Jesus. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Well, I've got the love of Jesus. I've got the love of Jesus. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Oh, you can't make me doubt him. You can't make me doubt him. You can't make me doubt him in my heart. Well, you can't make me doubt him. I know too much about him. You can't make me doubt him in my heart. I love Jesus. He's my Savior. When storms are raging, He's my shelter, oh, where he leads me, I will follow. I love Jesus, and he loves me, oh, I love Jesus. He's my Savior, songs are raging, he's my shelter, oh, where he
Have your way. 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 Yeah. 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 Have your way right now. Have your way, Jesus. 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 Yes. Yes. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way right now. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way, Jesus. Do it, Jesus. Do it right now, Jesus. Do it right now, Jesus. Do it right now, Jesus. Do it right now. Do it, do it, do it, do it right now. Do it right now, Jesus. Oh God, have your way. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Yes. 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 Do it, Jesus. Do it right now, Jesus. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it right now. Do it right now. Do it, Jesus. Somebody need a breakthrough. Somebody needs a breakthrough right now. Somebody needs a breakthrough right now. Do it, Jesus. Do it, Lord Jesus. Breakthrough. 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 Breakthrough, Jesus. Breakthrough, Jesus. Breakthrough right now. Do it, Jesus. Do it right now. Do it right now. Do it right now. Do it, Jesus. Yes. Yes. Do it, Jesus. Do it, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do it, Jesus. Shout out. Glory, glory. Glory. Glory, glory, glory. Do it, Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do it, Jesus. Come on, come on. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Give God a praise. Somebody's getting your breakthrough right now. Somebody's getting your release. You've been carrying that burden all week long. God said, if you praise me right now, I'll release that burden. I'll lift that burden. I'll fix that trial. I'll fix that tribulation. He's going to do it right now. He'll do it right now. He's fixing it right now. He's touching somebody right now. He's delivering right now. He's healing right now. Come on, do it, do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Powers in praise. Oh, yeah.
Thank you for your presence in the house. Thank you for your presence in the house. Somebody's getting a release right now. Somebody's getting deliverance right now. Somebody's getting victory right now. The victory is in your praise. The victory is in your praise. I dare you to praise him. I dare you to praise him. I dare you to give him glory. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all right. We've come out here to praise him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Somebody got to praise. God has been good to somebody in here. Somebody, somebody sitting next to you, just touch him on his shoulder and say, neighbor, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. The Holy Ghost told me to tell you, you going through something right now, but it's going to be all right. You done lost your joy, but it's going to be all right. The joy cometh in the morning. It's going to be all right. You go through the heartache, but it'll be all right. Oh, Hallelujah. I know it's going to be all right. The Holy Ghost told me it's going to be all right. Oh, God. My God. It shall be well and well with my soul because it's going to be all right. You might have walked the floor all night long, but it's going to be all right. Your tears might have become your drinking water, but it's going to be all right. The devil thought he had you, but you got away because it's going to be all right. I don't care what you're going through now. You may be in the valley of the shadow of death, but it's going to be all right. Look at somebody the last time and say, neighbor, you're going through something. I can see it on your face, but it's going to be all right. I know it's going to be all right. I ain't giving the devil no glory. I'm not giving the devil no due. But I'm giving all the glory to my God. Because he prophesied uh, even a long time ago. Uh, it shall 
I said it shall, it shall be well. There's a good spirit in this place. It must be the spirit of the Lord. Somebody said where the spirit of the Lord is. There's a whole lot of liberty. Now wait a minute, I don't want you to hunch nobody, but just raise your hand if you feel free. If you feel free. If you feel like you want to praise him. If you feel like you want to thank him. If you feel like you want to glorify him. If you want to worship him for what the Lord has done in your life. You need to just wave your hands and tell the Lord I praise you. I praise you. I praise you. I praise you. You've been so good. It started off with Sunday school. I said it started with Sunday school. That's when my praise started. I started shouting on Acts 238, Bishop. It still works. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Time for our benevolent offering now. We're going to answer Brother Deacon Designate Roger that he might come. Amen. In the name of the Lord. We're going to ask our ushers that they might come forward. In the name of the Lord, this is not our main offering. This is our charity offering that's used for the beautification of the pulpit. And maybe somebody might need a little help. Amen. Praise our God. And need a little something from the church to help them out to tide them over. This is what the benevolent is used for. In the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Power to the Lord our God. For the Lord our God is mighty. The Lord our God is omnipotent. The Lord our God, He is wonderful. Hallelujah. Salvation and Roger. Honor and power unto the Lord our God. The Lord our God is mighty. The Lord our God is omnipotent. The Lord our God, He is wonderful. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory, honor and power unto the Lord our God. For the Lord our God is mighty, the Lord our God is omnipotent, the Lord our God, He is wonderful. Hallelujah, salvation and glory, honor and Let us bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you asking your blessing upon this offering that we have received. Bless every heart that give it and bless every heart that didn't have to give. Lord, use this spiritual blessing for the upbuilding of thy kingdom here on earth as it is in heaven. In your precious Son, Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. Glory and honor to the Lord our God. For the Lord our God is mighty. The Lord our God is omnipotent. The Lord our God, He is wonderful. For the Lord our God is mighty. The Lord our God is omnipotent. The Lord our God, He is wonderful. Certainly we want to thank you, amen, for what you have given. 
Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And we pray God's blessings upon you in the name of the Lord. At this time, we're going to ask, praise our God, our sister Kimberly Spencer, that she might come with a welcome address and the announcements for the ensuing week. Let's greet her with a hearty amen. amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Sunday, September 29th, 2024. Enter his gates with thanksgiving into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name, Psalms 104. On behalf of Pastor David Morton and Lady Tina Morton and the Refuge Temple Church family, we welcome you to Refuge Temple of Oxford. Our church doors are open and our physical address is 311 West Spring Street, Oxford, North Carolina. Morning worship starts at 11.30 a.m. For those that are not able to join us, we will stream live via Facebook under Elder David Morton. Sunday school, Bible study, every Wednesday night at 6 p.m. via teleconference. For dialing information, please contact Elder Chavis or see Lady Sharon Chavis. Sunday school um, has resumed on Sunday morning starting at 10 a.m., but will st still convene every Wednesday night at 6 p.m. The Connection Prayer every Friday night at 7 p.m. For now, prayer service is via teleconference, and if you need to dial in information, please contact Pastor David Morton. Our church announcements. Please mark your calendars. Our church meeting um, that was supposed to be today after morning worship has been postponed until next Sunday, October the 6th, for all Refuge Temple Church members. Again, the church meeting that was supposed to be today will be next Sunday, October the 6th, for all Refuge Temple Church members, and that will be immediately after morning worship. The North Carolina Metropolitan Diocese uh, meeting will be November the 22nd through November the 24th at Raleigh Hilton North Hotel. The room block is open, so if you need to make your hotel reservations, please contact the hotel. Again, that is Raleigh, the Raleigh North Hilton Hotel, and that is November the 22nd through November the 24th. Women's Council announcement. On Saturday, October the 5th, 2024, the North Carolina Diocese Women's Council will convene at the R.C. Lawson Complex in Southern Pines, North Carolina. The theme is God's power never changes. The scripture is, for I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Malachi 3, 6, um, verses 6 through 8. The morning session will begin promptly at 10 a.m. with our winning women of God in charge and rendered by the booster choir. Um, aspects of the morning session will include the power to communicate with God through prayer and scripture, the power of studying the word of God, and the power of fasting and its benefits. The afternoon session will begin after lunch with Elder David Morton, our pastor, as our guest speaker. The attire for the day um, is women's council's uniform. It will be a purple head or head covering, white suit or dress, purple or black shoes, and a red corsage. Lunch is at 12 noon, and everyone is on their own, uh, on his or her own for lunch, and the registration fee is $5. Again, that is next Saturday, October 5th. It is the Women's Council State Meeting. Um, state, um, yeah, Women's Council State um, co um, Convention, and that is, again, Octo Saturday, October the 5th. The 7th International Women's Council Convention, the theme is consistent, resilient, and excellent. From coming from Deuteronomy 31:21 and 1 Corinthians 15:58. Um, the 7th International Women's Council Convention will take place on October the 16th through the 20th in Jacksonville, Florida. If you need to book your room, please contact the hotel directly, and it will be at the Hyatt Regency Jacksonville Riverfront. Um, enrollment for general enrollment is $250 for ages 13 through 69. Senior enrollment is $175 for 75, 70 years plus. Couples enrollment is $450. 
seniors couple enrollment is $350, and council-led enrollment is $25, and that's ages 3 to 12, and this does not include the men. But again, um, it's the 73rd International Women's Convention. Um, it will be held um, October the 16th through the 20th in Jacksonville, Florida. And I will um, put this um, in the back, but if you need more information, please contact our, our local president, Mother Anita Williams, if you need more information about either one of these, the um, state and the international conference. And she will help, um, she will give you the information that you need. Um, there are two excellent um, Christian movies out, so in case you have some extra time in your leisure, um, it, one is called The Forge, and it's in the movies. It's um, mainly for males, and I believe um, in speaking, you can, um, they're showing it $4 in Henderson, so if you have some leisure time, please go check that out, The Forge, um, and these are both, again, Christian movies. And then the protege, and this is on Prime. So if you um, subscribe to Prime TV, um, this is mainly centered around females. But um, from what I hear, these are both excellent movies. So if you, um, again, have leisure time, please check them out. And thank you, Mother Williams, for those. <laughs> um, birthdays. And I hope I'm not out of order with this, but can we ask Mother Booker to stand, please? <laughs> On, amen. On Tuesday, October the 1st, Mother Booker will be celebrating her 95th birthday. Amen. And can we sing happy birthday to her? Can we sing happy birthday? All right. Let's sing happy birthday to Mother Booker. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mother Booker. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Amen. It's a blessing to see 95 years old. Amen. Happy, book, happy birthday, Mother Booker. And then we have an um, anniversary on Thursday, October the 3rd. Brother Edwin and Sister Shannon Harris will be celebrating their anniversary. Do we have any more birthdays or anniversaries? I may have omitted. To our visitors, whether it be here in the sanctuary, Facebook, or however you have chosen to join in today, it is our hope and prayer that when you depart from this service, you will carry with you a renewed faith in the power of God. God's not unmindful of life's struggles. Trust in him and he will help you to overcome. Please remember, Refuge Temple is not located in the heart of the city, but it does have the city at heart. God bless. One thing I can say about Mother Booker, every time the van goes someplace, she's on the van. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mother Booker. You're an example of commitment and faithfulness, and we thank God for you. Now, you know I always have to give a political announcement, and certainly I'm part of the Concerned Citizens of Granville County. We met yesterday. We found that there's 749,000 names was deleted from the voter rolls. Let me say that one more time. This happens because people change their address. People didn't vote within two years. So I would suggest that you get to the Board of Elections, go online, and see whether or not your status is still good to vote. All right? 749,000 names were deleted. People changed their addresses, never reported it, never made the change. So please, ma'am, and please, sir, be aware of that fact. Also be aware that early voting is starting. We trust that everyone, I think uh, um, Michael Muhammad, I guess Michael Smith, I think his name was Muhammad, uh, he put um, uh, sample ballots on the windshields of the cars. We ask that you do, praise our God, uh, uh, please vote. There have been changes uh, with regards to some things. Valerie Fushi, uh, she's one of the Congress people. She's no longer in our district. And we now have Don Davis. And Don Davis is the one that you see. He's on the East Coast, but he's over Granville County now. So there have been some changes made in that particular area. So please, when you go to the polls, those are some changes that have been made. But I do stress, and when you go to the polls, just as to make sure you have some, some identification, picture ID, or something, a driver's license, or passport, if you have a passport, 
use your passport, but your passport has to be current, all right? So this is what we want to do. We know what we're up against. Project 2025. I need not explain that to anyone. I'll talk to you about it later. But please, ma'am, and please, ver sir, vote. Because what happens is, with the redistricting, this is why they gerrymandered the districts. So we lost some of our strongest people. I can't go any further than that. But And that was done by the Republican Party. So let's be aware of that. Please double check to make sure that you're still qualified to vote. Go on Board of Elections, go on their site, run down your name and so forth. Make sure you take amen identification with you, all right? You know, people look sometimes quizzically, but do you know that every civil rights struggle inroads that we made as a black people emanated in the basement of a church somewhere in the South? Some people marched said, we're not going to take this anymore. We struggled. We protested. This is not a time for the church to be silent. This is where our clarion voices need to be heard, and we can make our voices known and heard at the polling place. And I've been, since I've been here, I've been working with the polls and a number of things. But please, ma'am, and please, sir, please vote. Because what happens is we're going to go back to the 1960s, and we'll be singing, We Shall Overcome all over again. But we overcame. Let me just say that again. We overcame. And we're moving forward in Jesus' name. I can't tell you to vote for it. You know that. But please, ma'am, and please, sir, vote in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, it's now it's time for our offering. Let's all listen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And let us prepare our hearts. We're going to ask, amen, Brother Ty Spencer that he might come and also, this is our main offering. This is for tithing, and this is offering. And you've heard me say more than one time, tithing and offering are two different things. Can somebody say amen? amen. Tithing is tithing, and offering is offering. And uh, tithing and, and we'll always tell you that and is a conjunction that connects two nouns. So we understand that they're two independent. They walk together. Side by side, but they don't walk arm in arm. All right? So God bless you. Let us know if you have a writing or check. And to those of you who are viewing this telecast by Facebook Live and you'd like to sow a seed into this ministry, it's Cash App Refuge, dollar sign Refuge Temple Oxford. Once again, that's Cash App, dollar sign Refuge Temple Oxford. If you'd like to sow into this ministry, and certainly if you sow into this ministry, you indeed, amen, will be blessed, and you shall be blessed. So those of you, amen, praise our God, we're going to ask if you're making out a check, make it out to Refuge Temple Church at this time, all right? Thank you, Jesus. If you need an envelope, just raise your hand. Raise your hand, raise your hand, raise your hand. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, cast your bread upon the waters, and it shall return unto you in not many days hence. And God loves a cheerful giver. That word cheerful means hilarious. In the Greek, cheerful means hilarious. Crazy. How many crazy givers are in the house? How many stingy people in the house? Amen. Praise our God. But God loves hilarious givers, cheerful givers. Amen. And you shall be blessed. To our God. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us all stand. Thank you, Jesus. We'll come down at the direction of the ushers. Take your seed offering in your right hand and lift it unto the Lord in thankfulness that God has given you something to give. Eternal God and Father, we thank you, God, for your goodness and mercy. Father, this is only a portion of God of the many blessings that you have bestowed upon us. And Father, every hand that's raised, O oh God, amen, with a thankful offering to give unto thee, 
Lord, we ask thy blessings. And Father, maybe some in this sanctuary may not have to give, but Lord, they're sowing, amen, and even by faith of God. And Father, even those that are home who are sowing a seed into this ministry, I pray, oh God, that you bless them even through the electronic giving in the mighty name of Jesus. Do this for us, Father, and we will not fail to give a name, the glory, and honor in Jesus' name. We'll be directed by our ushers as they come down. In Je- Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship on one of God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship of one of God. Every praise. Every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory hallelujah, one of four. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship, of one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory, Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory, hallelujah, the one of God. Hear me pray. Hear me pray. It's to our God. Thank you, Jesus. God, we praise you. Oh, hallelujah. Certainly, we want to thank you for what you have given. And indeed, amen, the Lord, amen, is going to bless you for what you've given. You know, sometimes when I stand behind here, I stand behind in a tough spot. Let me tell you why. They pass you notes. <laughs> or who's going to sing a solo? I just find out when I get a piece of paper. But we thank God, amen, for Mother Thornton. Amen. She's a wonderful woman of God. and. She, she was with us, amen, in Sunday school this morning, and I thought she was going to shout herself to glory, but she decided to stick around and be with us for a little while. So it's my honor, amen, praise our God, to present to some and introduce to others Mother Shirley Thornton, that she might take us, amen, amen, in the ministry of music and a solo. Praise the Lord, everyone. Don't you know that I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. I woke up this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. Hallelujah. Stay on Jesus. I'm 
this morning with my mind stayed on Jesus. You know what holds that up? Thou would keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on Jesus. Thank God. Thank you so much. Amen. Praise our God. We thank God for you. Amen. Now it's time for the word of God. And the Bible says that man shall not live by every, by every, word, by every word. Amen. But the word of God, amen, in the name of Jesus Christ. But we thank God for our pastor here at the sanctuary. And as John said in scripture, I must decrease that he might increase. It's my honor, the distinct pleasure to introduce to some and present to others, perhaps, in the person of Elder Willie David Morton. Let's greet him with a hearty amen. Come on, you can do better than that. Come on, give him a good amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Can we put our hands together and give the Lord a praise in the name of Jesus? Come on, we can do better than that. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. For the Lord is worthy. I said the Lord is worthy. He is worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the same, our God is worthy to be praised. We greet you this morning. In the wonderful name, Lord Jesus Christ, we honor him for his goodness and for his mercy on this day. It is another day that the Lord has made, and we are all here to rejoice and to be glad in it. And I want to thank God for his grace and for his mercy. Thank God for all of you that are with us on today. And we are praising God for his goodness and for his mercy. Amen. I want to thank God for everything that he is doing in our lives. Anybody know he is a keeper? He is a healer. He is our protector. And our soul doth magnify him now. Amen. I want to thank God for even touching my body. Amen. I was uh, really sick last couple of days, but the Lord blessed me, gave me the strength to come in this morning and do my job. In the name of Jesus. So I praise him for that. Amen. I didn't know yesterday if I was going to be able to preach today. But Elder Wood, you almost got a call last night. <laughs> Hallelujah. But the Lord blessed and we are here. Those of you that have your Bible today. Amen. Turn with me to the book of Luke. Chapter number four. 
Luke chapter number four. I want to begin reading at verse number 16. While you're finding that, and I also want to read from Hebrews 11 and 6. While you're finding that, I want to take a moment to honor not only the Lord Jesus Christ, but to give honor to Apostle Wolfhawk, Bishop Williams, amen, to Ella Chaius, Ella Rudin, amen, to all of the men of God, to the women of God, to the people of God. We honor God for every last one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank God for my companion. We just thank God for all things on today in the name of Jesus. We are honored to have you here. The book of Luke, chapter number four, beginning at verse number 16, the Bible reads, And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted and to preach deliverance unto the captives, to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book, and he gave it again to the minister, and sat down, and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him, and he began to say unto them, this day is this day is the scripture fulfilled in your ears. And all bear him witness and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is not this Joseph's son? And he said unto them, Ye will surely say unto me this proverb, Physicians, heal thyself. Whatsoever we have heard done in Capernaum, do also here in thy country. And he said, Verily I say unto you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. But I tell you of a truth. Many widows were, say, were in Israel in the days of Isaiah, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, when great famine was throughout the land. But none of them were Isaiah's, but none of them was Isaiah sent, save of Sarepta, a city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel in, Isaiah, in the time of Elisius, the prophet, and none of them were cleansed, save of Naaman, the Syrian. And all they in the synagogue when they heard these things, were filled with wrath. The book of Hebrews, chapter number 11, beginning at verse number 6. But without faith, Lord, we want you to search every one of our hearts right now. We plead thy forgiveness for anything that we've done, said, or thought that was against your will. 
We need you now to put your word in our inward part so that we won't sin against you. Create in all of us a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit in us right now. Father, we need you to step in and bless all of the sick and all of the afflicted. Lord, we need you to go in every hospital, every rest home, every prison camp. Lord, wherever there's a soul today that's standing in the need of a miracle, God, I want you to supply it according to your riches and glory through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Now, God, as we again approach the preaching moment, I ask you in Jesus' name to allow me to decrease that your anointing might increase. Father, I'm asking you to do whatever you want to do and say whatever you desire to be said. I yield myself into thy hands right now that you might use as you see fit. Lord, I promise you, I'm going to give you all of the glory, all of the honor is only thine. It is in that matchless name, Lord Jesus Christ, that we pray. Everybody lift your voice and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. One more time, just shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Before you take your seat, would you look at the person beside you and tell them, neighbor, neighbor. oh neighbor, oh, Jesus, Jesus is, is who he said he is. And you can have your seat in the name of Jesus. From the very beginning of Jesus' ministry, there have always been people that doubted that he is who he said he is. In this particular passage of scripture that we found in the book of Luke, it was during the time when the children of Israel were beginning to come back to Nazareth. They had been a man driven out, a man and taken into Babylonian captivity. And now they're beginning, a man during the time of King Cyrus to migrate back to their home country. And when they got back, a man, Jesus, a man is here. I'm told, a man, through history, that they began to have meeting places because the temple had been destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar, had destroyed their temple, so they were meeting in different places in the community to read the scriptures, amen, and to do the sacred things that they had always did. And because, amen, they didn't have a temple, they began to go into places that they called synagogues, amen. I looked up the word synagogue, and it said it was a meeting place, amen, for people to come together and and to study and to understand God's word. And Jesus was in one of these places in his hometown of Nazareth, amen. And uh, he begins to read, amen, a passage of scripture that I read to you uh, from the book of Isaiah. And when he finished, amen, reading that particular passage of scripture, he be then made a very bold statement. He said, this day is this scripture fulfilled. Amen. And I'm sure that those that were in the place were a little shocked because they, when they understood the fact that what Jesus had just said literally was that he was the Messiah. Amen. And, but people, amen, had a problem with that because they knew him, amen, as Joseph's son. Ain't this, amen, the carpenter Joseph's son that we've seen grow up in Joseph's home? Amen. How can he claim to be our Messiah. Amen. You got to understand that if you can't think outside of the box, you're going to have a hard time being saved because there are some things that God will do that our natural mind just can't perceive. Amen. You got to understand that when you're dealing with God, amen, he said that his ways are as high as the heavens are above the earth than our ways. There are things about God that our uh, natural mentality mentality can't even perceive. He is that powerful. He is that all-knowing. He is God all by himself. And what we have to do is come to a place where we have to realize that when we're dealing with God, 
we have to walk in faith. The Bible says that without faith, it's impossible to please God. But what you have to understand is when you're dealing with faith, you have to deal with stuff that your mind don't understand. Hallelujah. When you're dealing with God, there are going to be things that God tells us to do, places God tells us to go, situations God puts us in that our natural way of thinking just can't figure out. One thing I found out about serving God, you don't need to figure him out. You just need to obey him. Whatever the Lord puts in your heart to do, as long as you are absolutely sure that it's of God, you need to be obedient to the Spirit of God and act upon what the Holy Ghost leads you to do. I found out in my walk with God that when I began to question things that the Holy Ghost tells me to do, I found out that I always mess up. Whenever you don't listen to the Holy Ghost, you find yourself in situations that you could have avoided if you had just listened to the Holy Ghost. The Bible lets us know that the Holy Ghost is supposed to be our teacher. It's supposed to be our guide. It's supposed to be the thing on the inside of us or rather the spirit of God on the inside of us that will guide us into all truths. And the truth is that we struggle because some things we don't understand. And you know being humans, if we don't understand, then we struggle. I hope I'm in the right place this morning. You got to understand then that when Jesus professed to them that he was the Messiah, because they knew his past, they could not accept that fact. As a matter of fact, they got so angry with Jesus, hallelujah, they led him to the edge of a mountain, and they were, had the intentions of slinging him off the mountain. Don't you know, hallelujah, that people haven't changed in all of these years? there are still people that want to throw Jesus off the cliff. And if you are a follower of Jesus, they want to throw you off right alongside him. But I'm so glad to know that I serve a God, hallelujah, that knows how to make a way out of no way. The Bible says that when they began, amen, to go after him, they were going to push him, amen. It said that Jesus made his way through the crowd and he disappeared out of their presence. Amen. Some people want to say he he disappeared. He made himself invisible. Some people say he froze time. We don't know how he did it. All we know is that he did it. I'm always listening to Bishop Williams when he said you can't add to the scripture and you can't take away from the scripture. If the Bible don't say it, we need to leave it alone. Therefore, you got to understand, I don't know how Jesus did it, but I know this, that he walked right through the midst of them oh, and found himself in safety. The thing I want you to understand is that Jesus teaches us that the things that he did, greater things shall we do in his name. Oh, the things that Jesus did were mighty and powerful. You know the things he did. He healed the sick. He caused the blind to see. He caused the lame to walk. Uh, but our problem is we really don't believe Jesus because if we believed him, we will be doing the things that he he has said we can do but because our natural way of thinking can't come to the place where we believe God in the fullness we doubt the power that God has given us the Bible says that you shall have power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you but when we get the power we haven't learned yet how to execute the power you got to understand that whatever God gives you the authority to do you can do it if you believe Jesus. That's why the Bible lets us know that if you got the Holy Ghost, you ought to be able to speak to the enemy and command him to get out of your house. You ought to be able to speak to, to the enemy and command him to leave your family alone. You ought to be able to speak to sickness and say sickness 
definition get out of my body. And the reason that we struggle is because we still don't really believe Jesus. Whatever Jesus says, it will come to pass if you believe it. The problem we have is the believing part. Hallelujah, Jesus said. Hallelujah. That without faith, it's impossible to please him. And that's why we struggle getting our prayers answered because we asked amiss. We asked hoping that God will do it. But when you got to get to a place that because you live in right, because you believe God, you can ask God for something and you go beyond hope into expectation. Hallelujah. Anybody really ready to move beyond just hope? Uh, I like that song that says my hope is built in nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. But you got to go beyond just hoping that you got to know it. You got to believe in your spirit that whatever God gave me the ability to do, I can do it. And I'm going to do it because Jesus said that I can do it. Anybody understand that God is the God of all power. Whatever God says, it has to come to pass. Well, God said if we repent of our sin and were baptized in his name, that we shall be filled with the Holy Ghost. And we struggle trying to get that Holy Ghost because we really haven't believed God. But when we get on our knees and begin to call on him, when we stop hoping that we get the Holy Ghost and start believing we're going to speak in tongue, God will step in and take control. He'll step in and begin to get a control of your tongue and you'll start speaking as the Spirit of God gives the utterance. But you got to believe God. You got to believe what God said. God said, I'll keep them in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on me. Is your mind on the right thing? When you wake up in the morning, the first thing we ought to do is thank God for another day. When we go out of our homes into our vehicles, we ought to thank God for traveling mercies. When we get to work and work all day, don't have no accidents, we ought to thank God. We believe that God is going to take care of us. The same God that takes care of us is the same God that will fill us. The same God that wakes us up every morning is the same God that will heal us. The same God that gives breath in your body that you will be able to breathe is the same God that makes a way out of no way. Anybody understand that Jesus is who he said he is? He said, I'm Alpha and I'm Omega. I'm the beginning and I am the end. I'm the first and I am the last. I am he that is. I am he that was. I am he that always will be. Anybody believe that Jesus is who he said he is. He's the everlasting father. He's the prince of peace. He's the great I am. Jesus is who he said he is. Somebody put your hands together and give God a praise. Hallelujah. We living in a time now, saints, when there are so many false gods, so many false religions. Every time you turn around, they coming out with something new. But I'm here to let you know that Jesus is still the only true and living God. He's the only God. Hallelujah. That has breath. Hallelujah. Had breath in his body. He's the only God that died for your sins. He's the only God that went down to hell, took the keys from the devil, came back and declared that all power is given unto me over death, hell, and the grave. That same Jesus is the one that told us that we can be saved. He died so that we might live. He died so that we could be healed. He 
died so that we could have a right to the tree of life. I come to let the church know that Jesus Christ is who he said he is. Don't you doubt him. Don't you, hallelujah, don't you worry about what's going to happen next. Because if you put your hands in the master's hands, as Bishop said earlier, everything going to be all right. I come to let you know know that if you do like the Bible says, it may not come when you want it, but one thing for sure, it's sure gonna come. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that the Bible says that they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, they shall be filled. So the Lord told me to tell somebody this morning, if you want the Holy Ghost, don't get discouraged because you don't get it when you think you ought to because if you really want it before you leave this earth you're going to get it hallelujah I'm so glad that the Lord is a promise keeper I'm so glad that our God is a God that cannot lie look at your neighbor and tell him neighbor Jesus is who he said he is Hallelujah. Jesus is exactly who he said he is. He is God manifested in flesh. He was there when the stars were hung in place. He was there when the moon and the sun took their place in the atmosphere. He was there when the light shined in darkness. He was right there when God said, let there be. He was there. The reason he was there is because he was God. Hallelujah. And if God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. Last time, look at your neighbor and tell him, neighbor, Jesus is exactly who he said he is. Put your hands together, give the Lord praise everybody. Jesus is who he said he is. He said in the first and the last. Jesus is the one that loved you and I so much that he was willing to suffer, bleed, die, rise for us. Hallelujah. When they hung him on that cross, he had already let them know just give me three days. <laughs> Just give me three days. And I'm going to fix everything. He had quoted earlier, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Hallelujah. I always struggle with that song we sing. Who will help me lift him? Because when I read the scripture, I said, wait a minute now. <laughs> he don't need nobody else to put him on the cross. <laughs> Hallelujah. We have to be careful how we sing some songs. <laughs> Hallelujah. Song sounds good when you sing it, and unfortunately, I have sang it. But when the Lord opened my eyes to it, I, I better leave that one alone. Hallelujah. We don't want to crucify him afresh. He is who he said he is. He is our deliverer and our savior. And he is the one that has the power to fill our cups and let them overflow. For 
the book of things in 95 years. Hallelujah. And I'm, she can tell you he's her keeper. Mother Green says she's getting there. <laughs> That's all right. Hallelujah. We thank God for our elder saints. We thank God for all of our saints. And it's my job to remind you that Jesus is who he said he is. And if you don't remember nothing else, know this. He is the one that loves you more than anybody else in your life. I don't care how good your sweetie been to you. He or she don't love you like God does. They might want to. They might try to. But Jesus' love is an everlasting love. Hallelujah. And because he loves us, he's willing to save us. If you're in the house today and you need prayer, we invite you to the altar right now. Whatever you need from God, He is our healer, our savior, our way maker, our burden bearer, our heart regulator. He's everything to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While you're deciding, I want to make one announcement. Every going into the future, every Thursday, it is my desire to be here at the church from 5 o'clock until 7 o'clock or beyond, depending on how things go. But anybody that wants to tarry for the Holy Ghost, I will be here from 5 until all night if need be. But the Lord has put a burden upon my soul to get the altar clean up. Hallelujah. I, we have several people that I believe are serious about receiving the Holy Ghost. So I'm going to make that avenue possible. Hallelujah. And anyone that wants to pray along with those souls are is welcome to come. Not obligated. Purely voluntary. But I will be here in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All right. If no one needs prayer, uh, okay, come on, Brother Foster. Hallelujah. Brother Foster told me that they had been a little under the weather. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We thank God 
for their service on today. Thank God for being able to feel his power in the midst. I want to thank God for their praise team that did a fantastic job this morning. Amen. I was in the back. Amen. Not feeling the best. Amen. But when y'all got to praising God, it just gave me a little boost. Amen. So we thank God for that. In the name of Jesus, we value prayers. Amen. It's me and my companion. After service, we're going to hit the road. I'm taking her down to Atlanta to be with our daughter for a week or so. Amen. And I'm, I'll take her and drop her off when I'm coming back. Amen. But just we pray our traveling mercies in the name of Jesus Christ. All right. If all hearts and minds are clear, nobody mad but the devil. Bishop Wolfhawk, you got anything? Chavis, you good? All right, Ella Wooten? All right. We're going to ask everyone to rise. Everybody say amen. Everybody say Everybody say amen. Amen. Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost let it rest, rule, and abide within us in Jesus' name. Everybody say hallelujah. God bless you in Jesus' precious name.